Hi there. So for today's project, I am going to start by introducing um, the first steps that you will need to be able to complete a project um, that will look somewhat like this. And I like to call this project camouflaged image. So to start out with, you are going to decide on your image. Um, your image can be whatever you would like it to be. Um, I typically suggest that you choose an animal um, or something along those lines. Um, I have a picture of an owl here that I sketched out. So this is what I am going to use to demonstrate this project for you. Um, so once you've decided on that image, um, the first thing that you're going to do is quickly sketch that image out. It does not have to be very detailed. Um, in fact, the less detail that you have, the better off you're going to be. Once you have sketched that onto paper, you're going to work on your draft. So, I have done mine in black marker. I suggest that you do yours in pencil just because um, you'll be able to erase and on a final product, you don't want to be able to see pencil lines at all. So the first thing that you need to know is the difference between a fragmented grid and a grid. A regular grid has lines that go vertical and horizontal and create even spacing on your paper. A fragmented grid has lines that go vertical and horizontal, but also lines that go diagonal on your paper. And this will create all kinds of random size and shaped spaces. Okay, so now that I have my fragmented grid drawn on my picture, I am ready to choose a color scheme. Now for this project, I am giving you the option to choose either a monochromatic color scheme or an analogous color scheme. So let's first talk about a monochromatic color scheme. A monochromatic color scheme is a color scheme where you are going to choose one color from your color wheel and you are going to add black and white to that color to make different tints and shades. So let's say we decided we were going to use um, blue. Okay, so here's our blue. So if I was going to use blue, this is my blue with black added, and this is my blue with white added, and then it also shows you um, blue with more white added, um, and it shows you your true blue. So you can create many different tints and shades um, by just using blue, black, and white. And the picture, the painting, um, here is a monochromatic painting done in blue. Now you also have the option to choose an analogous color scheme. And an analogous color scheme is um, choosing three colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So, I could choose red, violet, and blue as my analogous color scheme. And I would end up with the two tertiary colors that are in between, so red, violet, and blue, violet. Again, you could choose 
violet, red, and orange as your analogous color scheme and end up with red orange and red violet in your paintings. So you have um, the option to choose any of those colors on the color wheel. Um, you can choose two primaries and the secondary that they make, or you can choose two secondaries and the primary that is in the middle of those. Completely up to you what you decide. I have chosen to do an analogous color scheme and the colors that I have chosen are blue, violet or purple, and red. So those are the colors that I will be using um, to demonstrate this project. Now before you get started coloring, um, you're going to have to know what a gradient is. So a gradient is an even transition from one color to another color or from um, a shade to a true color, um, a true color to a tint, um, but you're showing an even transition no matter where you're going with your colors. So when you're coloring this, you're going to be creating a gradient. You never want to have your uh, two primary colors next to each other. So um, when I'm coloring, I would never color red and then color blue next to it. And the reason for that is when you're thinking in terms of painting, if you had wet red paint in a section and then you came up with your blue and started painting over that red with your blue, you're going to be making a purple. So while you're coloring, you're keeping that idea of keeping those two colors separated by that secondary color that they make. Um, one thing that you need to remember is you no longer have an image. You need to look at this more as a bunch of different sections. So when you're looking at your picture, um, even though I created a space here this is made up of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different sections. And I need to paint them or color them that way. The only way that you will see a line in this when you are completed is two colors coming up against each other. So let me um, demonstrate that here for you.
So here you can see I have um, colored in part of my picture um, with my analogous color scheme creating an even gradient from one color to the next. And that is your goal in this part of the project. I hope these directions were clear and you were able to grasp the understanding of the terms that we've um, gone over and that you're able to produce your colored pencil um, gradient of your image. Once you have completed this and you feel comfortable with the project, you can move on to part two of painting the project and you will find a second video for that. Thank you.